We see me yet? I'm live. Come on. Everyone else live? Come on. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Everyone, give me a hello in the box if you could to see if I can find me some little worship to put on here. Glory. Everyone up there? Can everyone see me okay? Can everyone see me in the chat box? If you can see me, tell me. Just make sure this thing is working okay. Here, can you see me? Yay. Come on, everyone. You there? Glory to God. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Glory to God. I'm live. Y'all live with me? Can you see me? I get no response. Oh, there we go. Glory to God. Thank you, Minister Francis, for responding. I appreciate you in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Come on now, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness and mercy, God. We thank you that we are able to come before you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are our ever-present help in a time of need, that, that you are the one that rose us out of the bed this morning, Lord God. You put breath in our lungs, oh God. We thank you. We thank you for the sun that's in the sky today, Lord God. We thank you, God, for the blue sky that you gave us. You painted the horizon of our visions, oh God. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you for the provision. We thank you, Father, that we can get in our car and drive to work and drive to the store today, God. You have enabled us. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, come on, someone give God a praise right now in the chat box. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. We magnify your name, O oh God, fairest of 10,000, Lord. You are the bright and the morning star. You are the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon, O oh God. You are our high tower, O oh God, our sheep. In our buckler, of whom shall we fear, O oh God? In the night, you're the light that guides our feet. In the day, you are the cloud, O oh God, that guides our steps. You have set our feet upon a sure foundation that is the rock. In Jesus' name, someone get excited and shout praise where you are. Let's start our week off right. Let's go into this week on fire for Jesus, God. Thank you for another opportunity today. Thank you for another chance, oh God, to serve you, to love you, to know you, to teach you, to preach you, oh God. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy endureth forever in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Glory. I will rejoice. Take a minute. I'll rejoice and be glad. Someone get excited. I'll rejoice. Come on now. Yes. Come on. We love it. Come on. We love it, Lord. We love your presence. Come on. Begin to agree in the spirit. Begin to praise him. Begin to bless him. Begin to call his presence. We ask for you. Oh, there's a river. Whose strings? Come on. Make life the city of our God. Someone worship him. There's a river. Yes. Glory. Come on. The city of our God. Come on. I will rejoice. Come on and be glad. Come on now. Thank you, Father. Come on. I'm gonna be glad. Come on, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We ask for your manifest presence today, oh God. We ask for your manifest presence, oh God. Move, oh Father, in the life of your people, oh God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God. 
Yes, Pastor Johnny. We're praying for Frank Porter in Maryland, who is in operation for a tumor off of his liver as we speak. He is covered in the name of Jesus. We have a God who heals. Our God's arm is not short. It is long. There is nothing he cannot reach. There is nothing he cannot do. From the furthest reaches of this planet, to the deepest pits, to the highest mountain, our God shows up in an instant. He is everywhere. He is all time. He is all powerful. He is all knowing. That is our God. He is the eternal one. He is your I am. Come on, that series. Are you sick? He is your healing. He is Frank Porter's healing in Jesus' name. Are you broke? He is your provision. Father, we thank you for it. Bless Frank Porter. We ask you to regenerate his liver to remove that tumor. If they pull it out, God, regenerate that whole liver right now in Jesus' name. Glory. Yes, God. If you have different churches than Life Transformation 365, put them in a the box. Put them in a the box. Yes, we pray for Avion Evans' family. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. Bless that family. Bless that family, Father. Bring a peace. We pray a peace that surpasses understanding. The peace that will come will not be understood. It will be so great. Help that family, Father. Put your arms around that family. Send your ministering angels, oh God, in Jesus' name to that family to bring them peace. Let your Holy Spirit permeate that situation, oh God. We believe you for it. We decree it and we declare it, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you. Right now, Father, we pray for life transformation. 365 Church, we ask for provision, oh God. We ask, Father God, that you would touch Oh, God, the finances continue, God. First of all, we give you thanks for the provision you have given. In several weeks, God has begun to move powerfully. Go figure, lining up with the prayers we pray. Saints, prayer, God answers prayer. That is the language of heaven, is your prayers in Jesus' name, is the language of heaven. Oh, God, we thank you. Right now, in Jesus' name, God, that you are in the midst. Life Transformation 365. God, that your word would begin to seed in people. That your provision would begin to come. Jobs would raise up. Parishioners would come, Father God, not to get something, oh God, but to grow in something, Father God. We want Jesus to fill their lives and change them, oh God, in Jesus' name. Yes, John. Mr. Van Buren. The Lord God, keep us and guide us today. We want your guidance, oh God. We thank you for your guidance, oh God. Come on now. Mm. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Yes, your niece, Bonita. We pray for her surgery, praying for Norma's healing, Sheila. Yes, in Jesus' name. We bless them. We speak healing over them, Lord God. Do what only you can do, Father. We thank you. Yes, Pastor John, we pray for Haywood Brooks. Yes, God, we just want healing over his body. He won't need dialysis anymore. We believe, come on, prayers. If you have a different church, put it in the box. Come on, guys, come on, let's do this. Glory to God. We thank you, Father, for the churches in Las Vegas that are standing against the gates of hell right now, that are standing against the evil one, oh God. We thank you for the churches. We thank you, Father, for the churches in every city represented on here right now in Jesus' name. If you want us to pray for your city or your town or your state, put it in the chat box. We'll cover it right now in Jesus' name. We bless Vegas. We bless Nevada. We come against the enemy. His woke ideology is trying to raise up in Nevada. We break that off in Jesus' name. We come against trafficking in Las Vegas and all over the world. God, we ask you to come into the midst and destroy the trafficking routes, oh God, that these children and these women and these people are being put into, Father. We speak the sexual purity back to America, oh God. We ask you for that, Father. We thank you. Okay, for the family of the lawyer and the wife, yeah, they were killed in Vegas. Yeah, that, that's such a tragedy. Father, we pray for the people in Summerlin right now. We cover Summerlin. They had a massive tragedy yesterday. Um, a, a girl on my Facebook page was actually posting live from the building next door. They didn't know what was going on. But, Father, we ask for peace for that family that lost their relatives. Oh, God. We, even the family of, of, of the shooter, God, but that family, they're not the ones that did this, Father. We ask for peace. We ask for your touch. 
We're not going to get the answers we want, Father, but we ask you to bless those people. Bring your healing oil. We ask for the oil of the Holy Spirit to pour liberally all over this situation, oh God. Just completely cover this situation, God. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it. We thank you for it, Father. We thank you for it, Lord. Someone say, I thank you, Jesus. Someone say, thank you, God. If, is there no one has a city you want me to pray for? Come on now. Throw me some cities in there. Let's cover them. Come on. Father, we come against all forms of wickedness in this city, in this town, in this nation. We pray for America as we get near, oh God, that the cycle of, of, of all the crazy things that go on during the voting and stuff, Father God. We come against the wickedness of that, Father. We want your people put in positions, Father God. I don't care about R's. I don't care about D's. I want God's people in position. I am a kingdom man. We are a kingdom people, Father. We ask for kingdom candidates that we can vote for in good conscience, oh God. We ask for kingdom candidates, God, that your will be done, Father. We call in your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, according to your scripture. Your word says if we pray your will, oh God, it's always yes and amen. We cry out, oh God, for your will. Right now, in Jesus' name, Laurel, Maryland, thank you, Francis, you got the assignment, Minister. Laurel, Maryland, bless that city right now. We come against any wickedness, any darkness that hovered in that region, Father, that the reign of the Holy Spirit would fall upon that town, oh God. And every person on here, whatever town you're sitting in, raise up your hands in the natural and say, Lord God, we ask you right now to come into the midst of our nations and of our states we represent, Father God. We ask for your peace. We ask for your strength. We ask for your anointing. Principalities and powers have to kneel, oh God, at the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for it. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, for Fennel. Yes, John. We bless Fennel right now. Continued recovery from her brain surgery and mild stroke. We ask again for the reversal of that stroke. Every effect of that stroke, Father, would be removed in Jesus' name. Give her the inner strength she needs and the peace that your inner bleeding, the bruising covered, Father God, even as you heal her by your stripes. Uh, oh, isn't it great? The blood covered it all. Inner hurts, outer hurts, emotional hurts, spiritual hurts, physical hurts. Oh, my Lord, it's the blood. Someone say the blood, glory to God. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for the blood that our redemption, you paid the price. Every sin you signed in your blood, we give you thanks. We give you praise for that, oh God, in Jesus' name. Someone get excited. God is doing a work right now. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, backed up by the currency of his blood, every situation, every knee has to bow. Every time confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Someone get excited. Reach out your hands right now. It's not the force. It's an act of faith, a prophetic act. Reach out your hand and represent someone right now in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, every person right now who has their hands outstretched on behalf of someone else, we ask, Lord God, salvation for that person. We ask for sanctification for that person. God, you would provide whatever the need is. I don't know, God, but you know. Right now, guys, represent someone. Bless this person whose hand is up. Honor their faith, oh God, and bless the one they're standing for. If they're sick, we ask for healing. If they're broke, we ask for provision. If they're emotionally wounded, we ask, oh God, for a sound mind and sound heart. Do only, oh God, what you can do in Jesus' name. We want you alone, God, to get the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Pastor Johnny. We are covering Johnny the Third right now in Chicago. That God will cover and keep him. As he goes against these difficult times, we pray blessings over him, his kids, his kid's mother, and his job. Father, you're doing something in Johnny the Third. Anyone that has any connection with the Holy Spirit can sense that a mile away. Whatever that work is, oh God, in Jesus' name, fulfill it. Get him to the level. Sometimes we think we're at the level and we're not. Father, give Johnny a revelation, the third, of who and what he's supposed to be. 
who you have to do. There's a greater call I sense on his life in Jesus' name. I don't mean this in a negative way. He is underperforming for the level that God has called him to. Father, we ask you to open his eyes, not just these eyes, his spiritual eyes to see whatever it is you want to do in him and through him, oh God. We do pray restoration over his family. We pray peace in the midst of the situation. And you would touch the wife, oh God. You would touch all people involved in Jesus' name. Yes, Chicago. Thank you, uh, Pastor Sequet. Yes, we bless Chicago. Lord God, we bless Chicago. Father, we come against the wickedness in Chicago, the shootings, the gang violence, all that crud that's going on there, Father. Chicago's your town, oh God. We declare it. We declare it. The Windy City, oh God, is your city because that wind is the Ruach power of the Holy Spirit. Let your wind, oh God, your Ruach blow all over Chicago, God, in Jesus' name. And anoints every piece of that delicious Chicago pizza that goes out also, Lord, in Jesus' name. Well, that sounds good right now, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Come on, glory. All of us gather will continue to be obedient, being alert and ready in all times and season and out. Let's be ready. Yes, Minister Francis, a very mature prayer. Father, we decree and declare that right now in Jesus' name. We will continue to be obedient, continue to be alert and ready at all times, in and out of season. What does that mean? Even if something crazy ain't going on in your life, be ready. When something crazy does come in your life, you're not trying to get ready in the middle of crazy. That's the in and out of season. Be ready in and out of season. Because when things happen, when things happen, that's not the time of preparation. I want you to think about this. Let's go to the New Testament. Something for you right now. The, the, the disciples tried to cast the demon out. For some reason, this demon just wouldn't come out. And they go to Jesus and say, we could not get this demon out. This guy right here, we can't get the demon out. And Jesus says, that's because some of these, this demon only comes out through prayer and fasting. Jesus then turned to the guy and said, come out. And the demon came out. Why is that important? Jesus didn't have time to go and fast. The scripture didn't say Jesus went, prayed and fast, came back, cast the demon out. Jesus lived a life of prayer and fasting. So when the moment came, he was ready. He didn't have to go pray and fast because he'd already prayed and fasted and was ready when he walked up there. Be ready in and out of season. Prepare now. This is the time of preparation. So when the war cry, the trumpet sounds, you stand up ready, having girded yourself and the armor of God, having the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth about your waist, uh, having your feet shod with the gospel of peace. The word is the sword you speak to bring the fire of God on this earth. You are, when you're fully armored, unstoppable in Jesus' name. Father, let us walk in the armor of you. Ooh. Glory to God. Julie, yes, John, we covered Julie right now in Jesus' name. We need that med, those meds to work to get rid of that leukemia and restore her blood. I'm going to ask God, I'm asking God not just to make the meds work, to bypass the meds and heal her in Jesus' name. That's what I'm going to ask the Lord for. If he makes the meds work, I'll accept that. But, Father, I'm asking for complete healing over Julie. They'll try to tell her it's in remission but all that's going to mean is we don't have an answer for what we don't see anymore. Father, healing and restoration over Julie's body in Jesus' name. Bethesda, yes. I think it's Bethesda, Maryland. If I'm incorrect, you may send me a message. Glory to God. We bless Bethesda, Maryland. We thank you for Maryland as a whole, Father God. There's a lot of beautiful brethren out there Father, fighting a good fight. We bless them. Right now, for the church. I pray for the church, God, the persecuted church all over the world, Father, whether it's Pakistan, it's Africa, it's India, it's the European nations, it's the Middle Eastern nations, it's America. Father, we cry out for our brethren. The word says, you know, you have passed from death to life when you love the brethren. Father, we love our brethren. We ask for provision, for the vision you've given the world, oh God, for the gospel to touch every shore on this planet, Father. We call in the provision.
Because the field is white, the workers are few. We call in the workers, oh God. We call in the provision to fulfill the vision. You, God, have chosen to use your church. Equip us, oh God. Prepare us, oh God. We repent for we have sinned and been narrow-minded and been self-focused. And we turn our eyes to you, oh God, that you may heal the land. You may bring change and revival to the shores of this earth. We thank you for it, oh God, in Jesus' name. Come on, glory to God. Thank you, Pastor Johnny. I receive your blessing. Restoration for my family. Healing power and forgiveness, yes. That that five-year journey would produce massive fruit in Jesus' name. Yeah, we pray for your cousin's church in Cleveland, Ohio, Alexander, Maryland, and Burnett, Texas. Girl, we bless it. I, you know, I love Texas. I got to be honest with you. I'm going to have a moment. Lord, I thank Jesus for this, but one of my cheat meals when I go through Texas, can I eat healthy now, is I give me some of that Bodine. Ooh, boy, I get emotional when I eat Bodine in Texas, but that'll be a whole different conversation for a different prayer. Father, we thank you for Bodine in Jesus' name. Yes, we pray for that church. We pray for your cousin's churches. Come on. We pray for him, Sheila. We believe God. Provision. Touch from heaven. That the wicked spiritual forces, the backbiters, naysayers in the background would be shut down in Jesus' name and the word Jesus would rise above all of that. We believe it. We believe it in Jesus' name. Yes. Oh, Lord. Wow, Sequet. Yeah. The gym would come to life transformation. In my spirit, it's crazy. I saw her speaking there. Anointed woman of God. I'm telling you. The oracles of God. Ooh, that'd be crazy. Set fire. We pray for Marcus. That his back will continue to heal. They have no other issues. Yes, God, you who created his back, oh God, would adjust it, straighten it, Lord God, would mold his back. We believe you for it, Father. We thank you for Marcus right now. In Jesus' name, we thank you for Marcus, oh God. We bless Marcus, oh God. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Yes, God. We pray for Keon, that God will continue to strengthen him. Yes, Keon has the heart of a surgeon and brother Reggie too. Uh, Keon and Reggie and Queens, uh, Owie, oh Lord, and, and Sybil, Lord God, the anointed coffee bringer, sometimes on a Sunday morning. Glory to God. We bless them. Sister Joyce brings coffee sometimes, other times, from the very throne of heaven, uh, Sybil will fly down and bring some coffee. So we thank you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. We bless that precious family and the hearts of servants that they are. We thank you for them, oh God. We thank you for them, oh God, in Jesus' name. We bless Gwen Miller, Lord God. Oh, her husband, Larry. First of all, we thank you, God, that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered into the hearts of man what God has prepared for those who love him. But we thank you for everything that Larry is seeing today that we too someday will see. Father, we thank you that Larry hears the words, thou hast done well, good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord. We thank you, God, that that is on his ears today, oh God, that, that his journey is done. But Lord, we bless Gwen, who's here. Bless her, Father. Bring her peace, Father. Strengthen her, Father. Give her a peace that surpasses understanding, oh God, in Jesus' name. We have Reggie and his wife. Yes, we bless them. The children, too. Yes, we pray for Reggie's father right now in Jesus' name. Yes, we thank you, Lord. Healing, healing, healing. Giselle, who just returned to play volleyball from a long injury and protect her. Yes, we speak healing over those injuries, Lord God. That you would go into the, the very uh, bones and the joints, oh God, and into the, uh, the ligaments and tendons and muscles, oh God. You bring a, not just a healing, but a miracle. You line everything. Up better than ever, better than ever in Jesus' name. Yes, we cover our children. Everyone on here, stand for your children right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless our children. We bless our children, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our children right now. We bless them that the enemy has no voice in their life. They walk in the power and authority of the Holy Spirit. We bless our children, oh God, right now in Jesus' name. We hold them. 
boldly before the throne of grace, oh God, in Jesus' name. Someone say amen to that. Woo. He blessed Mel and Dorothy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for Mel and Dorothy. I love them. Precious saints of God. Boy, Dorothy guards that door. I'm scared for anyone who tries to walk through that door with a bad intent. They will get a judo chop from Sister Dorothy. She don't play. That's like, y'all see how, like I said, a spiritual tank up there. It's a little lady, but she has a spiritual tank sitting up there, man. And you got to have a right intent coming through that door. Well, she'd be laying hands on her brother. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Yes, Kelvin Prather, whatever he needs will be done, will be met in God's time and way. Yes, we ask God to shake him up. Shake him up and wake him up. Amen. Right. That, that's your word. Shake him up and wake him up. I like when the spirit gets a little funky. Come on now. We ask for Kelvin. Lord, you shake him up and you wake him up and then you bake him up for a call. Come on. Glory to God. Someone get happy right now. God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Cassandra. We bless her, Ileana. We bless them both in Jesus' name right now. We thank you for both of those precious women of God right now. Yes. Sybil and the kids, we covered them, but I'll do it again. Bless Sybil and the kids again, Father. Keon, yes. We thank you for his faithfulness, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for everything that he does and brings to the house and to the world around him. He does not stop at the doors, my saints. That brother takes Jesus right out the door with him into his job. I meet with him every week and we discuss the word. But before we get into the word together, we talk about their lives and stuff. And Keon don't play. Neither does Reggie. They take Jesus right to work with them. They don't play around. So it's kind of crazy how God's just really raising these men up. You know what? I pray that God will raise the men up right now. They've been complaining about the ladies. will become the man above reproach. And a, a, a wicked woman can't stand in that presence. A good woman of God has to be around that. Bless our men to stand in their roles. It begins with us men. It begins with us. I don't care what the world says and all this and that. It begins with the men. If we will repent... If we men will repent and stand, our families will eventually fall in line. They will because it begins with us. Let's quit blaming her. Oh, she don't do this. And my kids don't forget all of that. Own it. In Jesus' name, it's not fair, but there ain't no fair in the Bible. There's right in the Bible. You were raised up. You are a man of God, a priest and a king called to stand for his family in covenant love. Bless our men, oh God, to do that in Jesus' name. Woo! Woo, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Oh, Kaylani's in here. We bless you, Kaylani, girl, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We bless Joshua too, Father. Joshua Williams. We thank you for the call on his life. Jerome Williams, we bless them, Father God. We bless Laker right now in Jesus' name. Pika and Shiloh, we bless them, Father. We thank you for them. Angels, Lord, blessings to the house. Bring joy to the house. Cyrus, oh God. We bless Cyrus right now. That mighty man of God. Who is on the rise? The enemies tried to hold him down. They tried to keep him down. But Cyrus uh, will rise above that and be a king among men in Jesus' name. We bless him, Father. Ooh, yes. We thank you for Laka. Yes. Kalani and Laka, the entire family. The way you use them on Sunday when they when, when Kaylani spoke at the end the way you used her oh God to really bring a very personal touch to the identity word and how important identity is from the experience of her own business large business she runs and how she's overcome that father we thank you for the testimony how do we overcome the devil according to revelation the word of the testimony and the blood of the lamb we thank you god for her testimony father that she shared with us lord god we thank you god that so you have testimony you have a testimony right now that can change someone's life. Stand up and tell your testimony. What did Jesus do for you? Come on now. I pray God brings new testimonies. Receive it. Brother. New testimonies right now over your children. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it, Lord God. We bless and praise you for it, Lord God. Come on. Bless it, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, bless the men. Now, the ladies. When the men do arise, 
When the men do stand strong, come on, men, put your arms up. When the men do stand strong, we ask God those ladies will fall right in line and become the king makers, powerful women of God, business women. Read Proverbs 31. The house never lacks. They heckle in the, the merchants in the streets and, and deal good business. Their husband's heart safely trusts. Trust in them. Why? Because he is washing her in the word, loving her as Christ loves the church. Oh, God, we want those marriages in America right now. In Jesus' name, bless the women, bless the men, because when they arise, oh, God, the kids don't have a chance to fall into sin. When you have a mom and a dad, they're back to back with Jesus tying them together. That is unstoppable. Those kids are unstoppable. We speak the blessing of the Father down a thousand generations. We come against the curses, oh God, word curses, mistakes of the past, any witchcraft in our family line, any wickedness in our family line, national wickedness. We break the curses off of our children. We are the generation that will break the curse. Oh God, strengthen us to walk in that father in Jesus name. Someone get excited. Ooh, Crisando missed your church family yesterday, but God is good. Yep. We love you, Crisando. Welcome girl. Come on now. Sorry. I'm a little excited today. It's an atmosphere. Yes, we blast Minister Park, Francis Parker, who came and again, brought a beautiful word. We could go. So grateful for that. So on fire. That testimony was a now testimony. If you didn't see it, you can go through there. I think it's like the first thing on last week's message. Watch that testimony. Powerful. Come on now. Cynthia. That she sees the only way to Father is through Christ. Yes, we stand and join our faith with you, Sister Sheila. Cynthia is in trouble because she is covered right now in Jesus' name. And yes, we love Kaylani. She's a woman of God. No doubt about it. No doubt about it, man. One thing about Kaylani, she trips and falls. She don't stay down. That girl gets up. That is a model to look after. People tell you falsely, oh, I don't follow man. I follow Jesus. Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. When you see someone, a Kehlani or, or a Pastor Sequet and Johnny Williams or someone like that, that when they trip and fall down, they don't stay down. That's the formula. The word says a righteous man falls down seven times but gets up every time. That eighth time getting up is a new beginning. I don't care if you've fallen a hundred times. That hundred and First might be your new beginning. Get up. Some of you are staying in the junk. The devil's a liar. A righteous man gets up. Stand up. Set back your shoulders. Square your jaw. Look to heaven. Your God is for you in Jesus' name. Someone get excited. Woo. We love Sister Francis. Yes. Oh, yeah. Praise God for that new solar. Y'all need solar here in Las Vegas or anywhere in Nevada? Come on now. I'm going to talk about the S-O-N sun, and then we're going to talk about the S-U-N sun. Someone get excited. <laughs> Glory to God, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for everything. We come against all the darkness. We come against everything. Yes, Pastor Sequet, we are the ones. Guys, don't look anywhere else. You're the one. You're the one for the time such as this. Esther 414, you have been raised up for a time such as this. Thousands of years of church history, countless continents, countless nations have risen and fallen. Yet God planted you like a seed in this time, 2020. Before you are here, he planted you before the world was made, before the first breath was taken. He knew you, ordained you, and prepared your works to walk in. Someone say amen. Ooh, yes, Lord. We pray for Jerome and his wife, Nixie. Nikki, we thank you for the financial blessing they gave. Yes, we bless them, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Come on. Someone get excited. God is good. God is good. Come on now. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, get excited. Get excited. God is doing great things. I have bad news for everyone here. Though everyone was saying it was going to happen. The world did not end yesterday with the eclipse. I predicted in the name of Jesus that the world would not end. And I guess what? I'm off to work this morning after this. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You know how I knew it wasn't going to end yesterday? Because the word says, no man knows the hour nor the day. 
except the Father in heaven. So when everyone told me the world was going to end today because the eclipse was yesterday, I told them, lay your clothes out and get ready to go to work tomorrow morning after the eclipse. Enjoy the eclipse. Now, is there signs in heaven that speak to us about what's going on? Of course. But the world wasn't going to end. We all, all, we're all going to rapture off into the moon because it was blocking the sun. Come on now. Someone get serious. Some of y'all got to push scroll on social media past that weird stuff. If the word says no man knows the hour of the day, God's going to come in a day when no one thinks he's going to come. Just saying. But here's the good news. We have another day today. This is the day God has given us a new grace to walk and bring more people to the kingdom. Every person that gets saved today, if the world would have ended yesterday, would it would not be with us. So we have a chance to take more out of the mouth of the enemy, out of the gates of hell, and draw them to heaven. Yes, we thank you, God, for Cynthia. We bless Cynthia, Father, in Jesus' name. Ooh, come on. Yeah, we bless Pastor Johnny and Sequet, Pastor Sequet, for being obedient. Yes, for answering the call. I agree with you for those two precious pastors. Increase, increase, increase in Jesus' name. If you have a pastor you want covered, I don't care if there's someone on TV you watch. We'll cover them. Put the name in the chat box. We will pray for them right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Someone get excited. We bless Pastor Johnny and Pastor Sequet. We pray for Pastor Benny at the Church LV. We pray for Pastor Jabin at, at, uh, at City Light Church. Uh, we bless Pastor Wesley at Boulevard Church and all the pastors on all those churches that are on staff. We bless Pastor Chris and Encounter Church. Come on, you got someone? Put them in there. We'll pray for them. Yes, I praise God for that solar too. It's going to be awesome. The envy energy don't get to extort you no more in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for that blessing also in Jesus' name. Yes, Pastor Diane Dixon Proctor. You know you cool when you got three names. Why did I say that? Pastor Sean Mark Henry. I'm just playing. Anyways, are we blessed? Pastor Diane Dixon Proctor right now in Jesus' name. We ask for your peace, your strength. You lay hands upon her life and bless her, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Bless it, Lord. We bless our families right now. We cover our families, Father, in Jesus' name. The attack against our family, Lord God, will produce no fruit in Jesus' name. Yes, we pray for Aries. We pray for a revelation for Aries. That God would bring a full understanding of who he is to her. As she begins... Her educational journey off to England. So come back to a spot of tea, please. Aries, what happened to you? I'm just playing. We bless her. We speak traveling mercies over her. That she will be a testimony under her God. We bless and praise you, Lord God, for Aries and what trail she will blaze as she goes into Europe. Father God, to go to school. We bless her educational journey in Jesus' name. Father, we surrender our hearts to you, surrender our minds to you. We surrender everything about us, God. At the end of the day, all we have is the breath you have given us, O oh God. Let us use the breath you've given us to turn into praise to you. The word says that he inhabits the praises of his people. Inhabit our praises, O oh God. May you be enthroned in our praises, O oh God. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Yes. I bless you, John. I look forward to our lunch together. That I know it's going to be coming here pretty soon. We got to make that happen. We've got to find time. We thank you, Father, for your healing hand. Yes. We bless that now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I have a doctor's appointment next Tuesday, FYI technically at 9 a.m. So I know how much you guys love this. We're probably going to do prayer 8 to 9 next Tuesday, okay? But I'll definitely have that sent out for you guys. I'll be in Scottsdale for one day. I'm doing a turnaround trip because that's where my doctor is. And uh, it's all good. It, believe me, everything has been great. It's just my, my, my little getting my hormone stuff and getting my blood work done. But everything, the last two or three blood tests have been absolutely phenomenal. That's God's goodness. 
So we thank you for it. So your prayers are appreciated. As I travel Monday after work to get there, I'll be there Tuesday and either come home Tuesday night or I'll come home early, early, early Wednesday morning and be back with all of you lovely people here in Vegas. But we're definitely going to have prayer still. If I have to be a few minutes late, my doctor will have to understand. Eight to nine, we'll have our prayer next week, okay? We thank you, Father. We bless you, oh God. There is none like you. There is none like you. The after 50, check really, really, Minister Francis, what are you messing around for? You see that? That's what I put up with right there in Jesus' name. <laughs> yes, praise God for John's heart and love. We love John. John, you bring a lot of joy when you in that building, brother. You're just a ball of joy. You're a ball of Holy Spirit, just, just full of him. And, and you bring that love with you. It's such a joy to see you out there when I preach. It really is. I always know how I'm doing by the look on your face. I appreciate that. So <laughs> that's my litmus test. What's John looking like? Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Anyways, even some of my most lamest jokes, you're supportive. I appreciate that. We thank you, Father. We bless you. We bless you. We pray for the homeless. Let's not forget these people in the streets and not just here, God, in the world. God, help the homeless get homes. We believe for a home. There's nothing that makes a person feel better than having their own home. We ask that for them, Father. In Jesus' name, we ask for the homeless. And God, people that are hungry, you would provide food. No matter where they are, Lord God, you would make sure there's food in God. But we have the ability where you begin to provide for us. We, we would ask for the ability to give more to others, God, as you provide that. So we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Yes, Johnny, we pray for Thomas in College in Reno. Ali, Gabby, and Giselle at Georgetown. Uh, Layla. Yes, watch over them and keep them. And we cover all, just to be safe, in case you have kids or relatives also in school, that those uh, wicked uh, agendas that the education system has would fail miserably and that our children would bring a standard of Jesus into these schools. Oh, God, we ask you for that. We believe you, Father God, for that. We know, God, you're the one that can do it. We know, God, you're the one that can do it, Father. We know. Our God is capable. There is nothing, oh God, you cannot do. We thank you. Lord God, right now. Do you have a need? Anyone have a need? Put it in there. Ooh, come on. Yeah, we bless everyone who got on today. This time the notice going out late was my fault. So I own that. Uh, Pastor Sequet was gracious enough to call me this morning and remind me. I forgot to send the link out. So uh, thank God for Pastor Sequet or Pastor Johnny and myself would be in big time trouble. We thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' name, we bless Pastor Sequet. We thank you, God, that you're using us, Father. All of our sick relatives, healing and restoration in Jesus' name. We bless Jasmine and Jessica right now in Jesus' name. Lorna Wicks and her marriage, make her strong. Yes, God, I'm all about, bless that marriage, crazy God. Whatever you got to shake, whatever you got to do, Lord, bless that marriage. We are tired of divorce. Divorce is a curse. There are curses we're not called to walk in as believers of Jesus Christ. We're walking in. Why would Christians divorce? Why do Christians abort? Why do Christians be transgender? Why do Christians marry the same sex? I'm not being mean. You're never going to hear me get on people that are not believers. I expect non-believers to act like I did when I was a non-believer. But I do expect believers to take the standard of the word. Father, give us hide your word, oh God, in our hearts that we might not sin against you, God. We want to be holy. Yes, Christ is our holiness. He is our righteousness. We're called to walk in that. If we happen to sin, he forgives us. Our mediator, Jesus, at the right hand of the Father, make an intercession for us. But we need to not, not name these things amongst us. We're not called to take on the culture of the world. We bring kingdom to the world. We are kingdom ambassadors. We are kings and priests unto our God. We are adopted into the beloved. We are the bride of Christ.
sacrifice his wife, his perfect, spotless, beautiful bride. He is raising up. We thank you, Lord. We are your church, and you are preparing us to marry us, oh God. We are your, pos your possession, your prized possession. You purchased at the cross in your own blood. The currency was the blood of Jesus. We believe you, God, that Mosia is being healed from cancer in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, yes, for Sister Joyce. Sister Joyce, we bless her. She is wonderful, Father God. We thank you for Sister Joyce, even the coffee in Jesus' name. We bless her, Father. In the name of Jesus, we bless Sister Joyce. She works tirelessly, gives all she can to the house, and we're grateful. And yes, oh God, forgive us. Let your church repent. If the church repents... In America and in the world. That will impact the world so powerfully if we'll stop trying to bring the culture of the world into our church and instead bring the kingdom of God to the world around us. It ain't that we're any better. We're just redeemed. And so we want that for others that were like us. When we struggle, and we still have our moments we struggle with sin. But again, you're a believer. Get up, dust off, try again. We thank you, Father. Oh, yes. The old birthday coming up. I'm going to start counting backwards now, I've decided. Glory to God. So technically, I'm supposed to be turning 52, but I have elected to take a year off this year instead of put one on, so I'm going back to 50. So thank you, Jesus. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Someone give God a thank offering. Someone give God a clap offering. If you feel up to it, give him a wave offering. Come on, someone, give God glory in this house. Give God glory in this house. Do I have any Samsons on here right now? Do I have any Samsons on here right now that want to do it? That want to walk in power? That want to walk in authority and kingdom power? Do I have any on here? Yes, God. Use us, oh God. It is you, oh Lord, Psalm 144, that teaches my fingers to fight and my hands to war. What is the method of our warfare? The word and prayer and walking in the gospel before the world to see. Woo! We do that. This little group of people, I think at one point we had 13 on here, can change the world. Can change the world. Do I have any world changers on here? Do I have any on here that want to be used of God? That want to see the world change? Anyone? Glory to God, let it be me, Lord. Send me, oh God. Let that be the cry of your heart today. If you got one day left on this earth or you have 50 years left on this earth, let it be me. Let it be me, oh God. And where we're weak, where we can't do it, God, you'll do it through us. We believe you. We thank you for your provision, though. I cannot say I'm going to begin to end the same way I started in thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for providing. Thank you, Lord, for giving. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us. When we don't deserve it, Lord God, you're still there. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Yes, God, we need you. We need you, Father. We need you. We are blind in the dark until the light of your gospel fills us. Oh, God, help us to walk. Help us to walk according to your plan and your purpose. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, I bless the politicians. I bless the presidential. I bless the Congress. I bless the Senate. I bless the judiciary. I pray for our leaders, God, that they would have a radical revelation from you. I won't stop. You said in your word, God, we are to pray for leaders. Either way, good or bad, because if they turn good, what happens? The world changes. Father, anytime you turn the heart of a king in the Old Testament, the whole nation rose. We ask you, Lord God, to touch the hearts of the kings of this world, that we would see a revival this world has never seen. Greater than the Reformation one, greater than the Reformation two, greater than every revival that's occurred, greater move from Rome out into the world. We ask you, God, for revival, not just revival, for reformation, that a third great reformation would arise in this world, oh God, and that we would be part of that, God. We would be counted worthy by your choosing, oh God, to walk in the reformation. 
God, every person on here, expand their mind. Let their mind grow in the word. Let them have a greater revelation of who you are. Each person, anoint them, oh God, that's on here right now. In Jesus' name, anoint them, the faithful ones that stayed on, oh God. Bless them, Father. Anoint their minds. Let them receive the seed of your word. That then when they speak, the word is laced with your love and your scripture and in your admonishment. Let it all be there, Father, in Jesus' name. And we'll do it again. We pray for the homeless in Jesus' name right now. Yes, God. Fill our church, Life Transformation 365. Yes. With your Holy Spirit, oh God, fall afresh. Let a fresh fire fall upon every raised hand right now in Jesus' name. We ask for fresh fire. We want new wine and new wineskins, oh God. We don't want that old nasty wineskin to pour that new wine in, Father. Make our wineskins new and we can contain the wine, the new wine you pour in us through your Holy Spirit. There was a temple over 2,000 years ago in Israel where the presence of God would sit. Today, thanks to Christ, these are the temples. We are the walking temples of the living God. The Shekinah presence of God moves on the inside of every believer that knows Jesus. They know his voice. He is speaking to you this week. Get along with him. Get along with him. And he may speak to you. If you got to go for a walk up at Red Rock or Calico Basin or one of those, get alone with God. Father, help us to get alone with you. Help us, oh God. We thank you, God. Thank you, Brother John. I appreciate that. It, it is. It is. The enemy don't like that we do this, but I've decided I don't care what the enemy likes and like anymore he's done too many whack things that i've seen get alone with god the bible talks about a secret place go into your secret place maybe it's your closet maybe it's your shower maybe it's a prayer walk maybe it's up beside a mountain maybe it's in your car maybe it's in the break room at your job get alone with your god let him speak to you the Bible talks about us entering the rest of God. It's not talking about snoozing on a bed. It's talking about entering into his rest, that moment of selah, that moment of meditation before your God, entering his rest, what was impossible prior to Christ, to truly enter his rest. Through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, each person on this call can enter his rest. He loves you. He wants to commune with you. He has raised you up. He has forgiven you. He has blessed you. You have an inheritance that is priceless. Father, I thank you for each minister of the gospel on here. I thank you for each precious saint on here. Bless them, Father. Yes, we pray for the sick in the hospital and the nursing homes. We also pray that folks would visit the elderly in the nursing homes too. That that ministry would rise up as your scripture teaches. Thank you, Father. We want you, Lord. We want you, Lord. We want you, God. I ask for every person on this call also that their finances be blessed this week. That at their jobs or whatever they do, their businesses, that they'll be blessed. Everyone extended beyond you as well in your life, that you'll be blessed. I speak a personal blessing on each of you. So raise your hands. And may the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. And may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious unto you. And may he bring you peace. And may you take something from this hour together in the kingdom. In the presence of the living God out with you this week. And may God use that to change somebody else. I speak blessing and life over each person on here and everyone extended beyond them right now. In Jesus' name, amen. What do you guys say this week as we're ending that um, find that person that irritates you. Find that person that gets on your nerves. Find that person that you want to avoid at every cost. 
Break through that. Go talk to them. Go love them. Do that this week. Pick a person you don't like and reach out to them and see what God does. Some of the greatest people, I've seen the greatest moves of God, people that I said to God, why is this person in my life for? I don't want this person in my life, Lord. They drive me crazy. They're negative. They're this, they're that. And that's always the one that God sends you in after. Act like that person might be on their way to hell. And maybe you have the seed that will change that. Maybe you're the minister. You're the anointed man and woman of God that God wants to use. You're the one that God has raised up for that person. Be the light, be the salt, and watch God radically move on your life this week. I bless each of you, and as always, ask any testimonies. Bring them. I love you all. And yes, Pastor Johnny, I don't want to miss that. And your Holy Bible come to life in your people. Yes, we'll walk. Yes, as you have us taught. Yes, yes, Pastor Johnny. That's powerful. That's powerful. And one more thing on that note. Forgive someone today. Really forgive someone today. I've forgiven everybody. Here's how you test it. I say this to the church. I'll say it here. If a person changes your mood when they walk in the room, you've not forgiven them. Think of a person who changes your mood when they walk into the room. And that's the person that needs forgiveness from you. Remember, when you forgive people, it's not you're setting them free. It's you're setting yourself free. You're setting yourself free. I bless you all and ask for God's strength over you all. And know this right now. Apostle Sean Mark, love you. Ha. White chocolate, love you. Ha. But more importantly, Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Have an amazing day and love each other. Come on.